Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how you can edit or add your own skill icons into the game. I'll also show you a few photo editing tricks just to make life a little easier on you. Um, so with that said, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe, helps everybody out. And be sure to check out the video description below for important links to our website, Discord, Patreon, and some of the files you'll use. Uh, with all that out of the way, let's jump right into it as we usually do by grabbing all the files that we need. Um, so we're only going to be editing two files today. Obviously, if you're editing more icons or such, then, uh, you know, just that is needed. Uh, but we're going to be going into Global Excel to grab out skill desk dot text. This is where we're going to assign our new icon. Um, and then the icon itself, we're going to grab from data, HD, global, UI, spells, and then whatever uh, class you're trying to edit the icons for, or if you're trying to edit the icons for your mercenaries, you can select the Hireables folder. Um, but we're going to say for our example today that we're just going to edit like Firebolt or something on Sorceress. Um, so I'll just go ahead and pull out the Sorceress skill icon sprite. Um, with those two files uh, extracted, we've got everything we need. So let's jump right into the actual edits. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop up the... Um, mod folder here um, and we're going to start with skill desktop text uh, so let's go ahead and get that opened and uh, basically the uh, important things i want to point out are mostly going to be the icon cell and the hireable icon cell um, for every icon in the game it has two frames um, so you're going to see all these numbers separated by two basically um, and that's why because you have both uh, a frame for when you've clicked the button and you're kind of holding it down versus when it's not clicked um, and so anyways that's that's why everything is kind of separated by two so that number indicates the frame to use and it applies the same for the hirelings um, except because they're not clicking skills uh, there's only one frame for each uh, icon for hirelings um, but those are the the basically the only two sections we care about you can adjust the actual skill icon position uh, when it's selected in game uh, you know whether you want it higher or lower on that kind of skill pop-up list um, but yeah uh, this is basically the majority of the edit um, so what we're going to do here is just for example um, I'm going to open up sprite editor again all these tools are listed in the link below and we're going to go ahead and open uh, that sprite, that skill icon uh, sprite. And just so I can show here, um, I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, there's 60 frames total in retail. And let's select something like, I don't know, frame 16. Um, and so if I toggle between 16 and 17, uh, you can see here those are the two frames for when it's clicked versus not clicked. Um, and once more, if I go to frame 16 in the skill desk file, um, we can see that it is correctly assigned to Frost Nova, uh, just as the icon would indicate. So again, that's how it all links up. So you're ready to either edit or add uh, a new skill icon to this. Let's show you how you can do that. Um, so with your skill icon opened in Sprite Editor, we're just going to export the all frames of this as a single image. So let's just call this, I don't know, sort, sort skills, something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and open that in Photoshop, but feel free to use GIMP or whatever you, know, you have at your uh, disposal. Um, with that open, you're going to see something like this. And real quickly, what we need to do is uh, we're going to add new icons onto this. So we need to basically determine the the size um, that that we need to make all this to make that work. Uh, so what I mean by that is if I, if I go to image canvas size, we can see that currently the image is 7920 by 130. Um, in order to correctly determine, you know, again, we're adding two new frames. Um, so let's find out how much, uh, how wide each frame is first. So we're gonna do 7920 divided by the 60 frames. And now we know that each frame is 132 pixels wide. We want to add two of those, so that's going to be 264. And again, we need to add it to our 7920. So 7920 plus 264, we know that our new uh, width needs to be 8184. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in real quick. And now the other thing we want to do is we want to set the anchor to the left so that all that new space uh, gets added to the right uh, and not, you know, like on each side or something like that. So I'm going to select the left arrow there and we're going to hit OK. 
and as you can see all that new space we added uh, went over here to the right so perfect we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and now we can start uh, creating our new icon. So I'm gonna cheat, I'm not gonna show you, you know, actually making a new icon. Um, all I'm gonna do is hop over here to uh, basically like our mod icon pack and just steal one of those for an example. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste it in here and move it into position with the rest. So now we've added our two new frames and our icon pack is done. We've, you know, added our changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And we'll just name it two, I guess, that's fine. And now what we can do is we can import that file. And you'll notice it's all messed up right now. Um, that's because the frames are still set to 60, uh, but now we have 62 frames. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that. And now you can see it's went ahead and fixed the icon uh, display size again. And now if I scroll down and I select my frame, we can see that our new frames are uh, you know, in the game there. Um, so, uh, our skill icon pack is done. Let's go ahead and save that. And we'll just replace the original for this case. And now what we want to do is we've created the actual icon. Now we just need to assign our new frame, uh, you know, to whatever icon we're trying to replace. Uh, we'll just say that, I don't know, we're trying to replace Firebolt. So instead of frame zero, we want it to use our new icon, which again is frame 60. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put 60 in there. We'll go ahead and save that. And then I'll get the uh, mod launched and we should see our changes in game. And again, this works uh, the same process for hirelings or for any other classes. Um, and feel free to use whatever photo software you want. I just uh, use Photoshop because that's what I'm familiar with. Uh, but now if we go over to our fire spells, we can see Firebolt has successfully been replaced with our new icon. Um, and obviously if we wanted to uh, adjust the position of this, uh, where it appears on the skill pop-up, uh, that's where those other columns come in handy uh, for the skill column list row, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can feel free to adjust that all as you'd like. Um, but just to make things a little easier on you, um, as far as editing the actual icons goes uh, on the photo side of things, um, I have created a, a Photoshop template for you guys. Um, this Photoshop template can also be used in GIMP, um, but it uh, will be linked in the video description below. Uh, what makes this important for you um, is that basically it just makes the process really easy. Um, so over here on the right, uh, you can see some folders where I've organized things. Uh, basically, I've broken down every um, skill icon for every class into their categories. And then within those, you can select the exact uh, icon that you're trying to edit. Um, pretending that uh, we're going to edit one here, let's say I wanted to edit Charge Strike. All I got to do is double click on it. Again, it'll take me to a new folder. And inside that folder, every element uh, of the um, picture is kind of um, sliced out for you so that you can quickly change things as you'd like. Um, so just to show a real quick example of that, let's go ahead and just duplicate this layer real quick. I'll hide the old one as a backup. And then I'm gonna go over here to hue and saturation and let's colorize it. And I don't know, let's make it like a blue or something. We'll crank that up. And so let's say I just wanted to make uh, that part blue. That was all I wanted to do for my icon for whatever reason. I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes. And when I go back to the main, um, template, uh, you can see that those changes have been updated. Um, so this is a really easy way where you can uh, copy and paste things from one icon to another because they're all pre-sliced. Uh, you can quickly and easily change colors and things like that if you're trying to add some flavor. Um, and all of those uh, are, again, kind of... Um, organized and made backups for you. So there's things like, um, let me show you uh, all the blanks. So if you need to create a new aura, a new curse, a new mastery, um, you know, and those all have their own kind of templates, um, all those are done for you, as well as backups of all of these skill icons so that if you just kind of really mess one up on accident or something, uh, you have backups for everything you need. Um, so again, this is just a tool that I I thought you'd find helpful, um, especially if you're kind of doing large uh, portions of
of, of new uh, icons and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and thanks for sticking around to the very end. Hope you have a great day. Bye.